the ultimate happiness it is a moment of great joy when the seekers are ready to receive the tawajjo the energy field of the master and this happened during the visit to washington master continues to overflow and the seekers are like honey bee they gather the nectar the fires from every different source and then convert it into present it into their own way as honey or the blessing gather your awareness in such moments when happiness grips you when the tawajjo or the master flows enter into such moments into meditation enter into meditation in the moments of happiness it will lead to true bliss man always seeks happiness and when it comes he wants to hold on it is like breeze when your palm is open it touches you the moment you try to close your fist it is no more it disappears the desire to hold on creates the problems both unhappiness and happiness belong to the same domain of desiring they are like two sides of the same coin unhappiness can only touch the one who seeks happiness to identify with happiness is invitation to unhappiness everyone is seeking happiness and in your search it is always unhappiness that comes into your grip you never think that whenever you embrace happiness it turns into the moments of unhappiness even as you hold it you have never taken this into account you are moving so fast in your search for new happiness that you overlook the past you forget that you are wasting time and such indulgence leads to further unha- unhappiness whenever some moments of happiness start descending upon you or the dancing bells start echoing deep within you it is important to gather your awareness at once gathering your awareness is meditation indeed this is the real meditation to remain aware in the midst of happiness is real meditation and difficult as well in the moments of happiness we forget awareness you have a struggle so long to find this happiness and now when it descends on you you are being asked to separate yourself from it you have to separate from all that is happening happiness or unhappiness in that very separation transcendence happens and how can you separate you are a witness to it you are a witness that happiness is happening to you or unhappiness happening to you this witnessing is meditation all the seekers find it very difficult and they refuse to stay separate from ecstasy or happiness when it arises during meditation you can remain drunk with it but you are a witness to it that something has happened in this company but the fact is that when you separate yourself from your bliss this is the very way to make it eternal if you are unable to stand separate from it as a witness 
then all that you have found will also disappear and tomorrow you will stand empty and unhappy once again. This is what happens to the meditators. A certain state descends, they want to hold on to it. It is like a breeze that is blowing. Feel it, but do not desire to hold it. They find a little joy. They find something happening to you. And next day they are miserable once again. The thing have not settled within. This is the way after the session of Marakwa, the master speaks. And that speaking helps to settle down what, had, what a state of being has happened during the state of Marakwa. This always happens because they are unable to capture it. Then they want the happiness to return again. The search remains how to open the door again and also keep it open so that you always feel blissful. And that can happen only when you are a witness to all that is happening. Then the moments of unhappiness, moments of happiness become the moments of eternal bliss. There is no trick that the door can remain open forever. This is the way into misery. Whoever seeks to capture happiness certainly falls into unhappiness. And whoever hankers for the repetition of joys, whatsoever he has, also disappears. There is a saying of Jesus, those who have it, it will be taken away from them and those who do not have it will be given to them. Keep it in your mind in relation to happiness. Any, any type of happiness is bound to fade away one day. So never cling to it or anything. Let the joy disappear, throw your happiness away lightly, consciously and meditatively. Then nobody will be able to take it from you and in doing this you will find bliss over and over again. If you go on throwing it away whenever it comes to you, it will be yours a thousand and one times over. A moment comes when you understand that happiness is an art of throwing away and unhappiness is the art of holding on. The more you hold on to the happiness, unhappy you become. The unhappiness is the outcome of the desire to hold on to happiness. The unhappiness of those who live in heaven is that they have dropped their hold and desire on all kinds of happiness. If you understand this, you will see that happiness is freedom, while unhappiness is dependency. When you go beyond happiness, there is ultimate bliss or liberation or freedom. It means the state of absolute freedom where everything has been dropped and you do not hanker for anything. And then you remember that happiness or pleasures last only momentarily. They leave, they leave behind a long trail of miseries in finding a single moment of happiness. We have to go through many states of suffering. 
and if the happiness the pleasures are analyzed in details they prove to be only illusions witness these closely it is very doubtful whether we have called our moments of happiness were really so look back over your life and can you really recall in all these long years even a single moment that you can call the moment of true happiness you have to be a witness to moment to moment socrates says a life which is not a witness actually he says an unexamined life is not worth living and when you witness you are a witness you examine your life you will be surprised to find that nothing in it can really survive close introspection just turn back and look where are the moments when you have found the real happiness yes at first you may recall a few precious moments like when you fell in love for the first time the memory is very blurred now and you will have to wipe the dust of those recollections to get the clear view but if you do this and capture those moments you will begin to tremble with the very thought that those moments too only gave the illusion or the fleeting glimpse of happiness but not real taste of happiness and the deeper you move into those moments you will find happiness disappears altogether whoever truly reflects on these moments certainly finds that life is empty so the seekers always come to the experience of their own emptiness only fools think that their lives are full they go through the life carrying the bags full of stones thinking them to be precious ones they have only to empty out their baggage and look at their contents to discover the utter emptiness in their lives to the man who has not seen the emptiness the doors of religion always remain closed i see mean happiness the emptiness within a man only turns inward when he finally sees that all his pleasure seeking has been in vain there is not a single moment of true happiness and yet in attempting to find that moment we encounter much unhappiness look at a man with great difficulty he builds the house he really wants and when he finally moves in he seeks for happiness all around and sets about finding something else with which to continue his search if he has 10 dollars he devotes his energy to gain ten thousand dollars and when he comes to rest and relax his talk his task accomplished he cannot find any happiness in ten thousand dollars that are now his but even in this situation we do not allow our minds to really see this fact it feels so dangerous
to do so that we immediately commit ourselves to turning the ten thousand dollars into a million dollars now but this is the way human mind works and even if we make ten millions we will not be happy happiness is a state of being it is a state of non desiring it is a state of inner emptiness and last thing we have any intention of doing is leaving ourselves any space to be able to look back and assess what we are doing to reflect and meditate on whether we have actually experienced any bliss in pursuing or achieving our goals if you face your desires and all the efforts you have put in attempting to achieve them you will be in trouble much effort is there but the gain is nil there is no lack of effort on your part in fact there is so much of it that you have become completely lost in it but you fear the introspection the process of witnessing and your fear is that you will have to see that your work all your effort has been in vain that you have gained nothing the fear of failure is indeed great therefore reflect what you are within and this is life when you come in the company of a master he inspires you to change the way you look at life brings new perspective into it you have not seen the inner reflection it is there always waiting he brings you in touch with it this is known as the process of transformation which requires to see the innerness first and then reality not the reflection but move outwards when you sit in meditation this is the process of going within you find the source there because the happiness is a state of inner being and then life becomes a bliss a harmony a oneness you go into different companies like a honey bee moving from flower to flower it gathers nectar or fuzz or energy feel from everything everywhere that it comes in contact with and processes it within it becomes a moment of bliss and then presents it as process to within you can take simple examples you are an architect you gather information from all around and process it yourself and present it in a unique creation you are in some other field you whatever field you are in you are creative you gather things from all around use your creativity to present a new form and there is no greater joy than being in creative meditation gives you that eternal joy that creativity is the ultimate bliss creativity is the ultimate happiness
Seek to be creative in every moment and anything that you do. Life will become a benediction.